How's it going, everybody? My name is Magneti, and I welcome you to the mothership. Today, we're going to be doing a brisk overview of the six new maps that were added to MW2 in Season 4, excluding Vondel, because that's a Warzone map. I'll be doing that in a separate video. Let's get into it. All right, starting off with number one, the Kunstenar District, or Kunst Kunstenar District, however the hell you say it. Basically, it's in a urban setting and honestly has some pretty unique features compared to some of the other Call of Duty maps. And before we get any further into this one, I do want to say that I do pretty much enjoy very thoroughly all of the new maps that were added this season. So in my opinion, none of them are really that bad compared to a lot of the other maps that the game was released with. So again, it's in an urban setting right there on the pier. And I'm quite certain that the Kunstenar district is a part of Vondel as a whole. So this is just a small portion of the Vondel overall map. So some of the key areas and points of interest that you're going to want to dominate on this map, depending on the game mode that you're playing, obviously. But two really major points of interest are going to be the main steps outside or in between the two buildings there. And then the long alleyways on the edges are going to be huge. There's a lot of campers and there's some good camping spots on the right side alley when you spawn in the back tiny alley, if that makes sense. Hopefully it'll have, you know, good scenage up here on screen to make it a lot simpler to understand. But on one of the long alleyways, there's a side set of steps that goes up and that a lot of people like to camp on right behind the hedge there. There's a lot of snipers that camp there. Riflemen can camp there on top of the van in that same alleyway is another common spot. But the two big areas are going to be the main Sorry. steps and actually the water side alley I tend to find to be a lot more more aggressive and easier to get killed on. Now, some strategies that I would recommend for different game modes is obviously whenever you play domination, you're going to want to be careful of the B flag. So always make sure you're careful on B. Same spot for the initial P1 hardpoint in hardpoint. The first point in hardpoint on this map is going to be right in the center of the map, right on that little round area courtyard type thing. You're going to want to watch out for campers in the cafe. You're going to want to watch out for side flanks coming from the water side as well as from those mid archway steps. And you're going to want to watch out for groups of enemies coming down the main steps there in the middle. Now, as for some of the other game modes or really any game mode, if you want to do a spawn flip, pushing in through the waterside alley, clearing any enemies that are on that end, and then depending on which end you spawn on, pushing in from the backside, flanking through that route, I have found to be pretty easy to do once you clear out that alleyway, as a lot of people tend to more so conglomerate on the what? opposite of the waterside alley, which is where those side steps in the hedge were that I was talking about earlier. A lot of people tend to conglomerate over there more and it tends to be a lot more firefighting on that alley but i do still consider the water side to be a little more dangerous just because there's less cover and it's more open same thing right okay moving on to number two and before we continue i do want to say that i'm going to be going over all six maps and i'm going to focus more so on the core maps and try and brisk over the big team battle or ground war invasion maps and then the gunfight maps are pretty small so i won't have a whole lot to say about those as well so this should be pretty quick for you all right number two is showdown Showdown is a smaller part of the Akadar Village big team battle map. So Showdown is actually a classic original Modern Warfare released map. Now, it's a very Middle Eastern style urban kind of not urban, but like city capital almost sort of area. It's very close quarters combat based unless you're in the courtyard or in the long stretch square alleyway areas. There is a bit of mid range there as well. There's not a whole lot of long range really at all, unless you're sniping like corner to corner in the top square area overview of the courtyard. There's really not a whole lot of long range in this map at all. Now, there are a lot of sight lines and flanking routes to be aware of in this map. You know, you can cut through any X way into the middle of the map across the entire map through. It's very open and there's a lot of different routes you can be taking in this map. You're going to want to be aware of the corners of the top balcony. If you're playing domination, for example, you're going to want to be very careful when you take B because you can get pinched from every angle. B is very hard to capture, but it is very easy to hold. Same with hard point goes for that if I don't think Hardpoint is on this map, but if it were to come to this map, Hardpoint in that area would be a very difficult point to hold. But again, I don't think Hardpoint would come to this map. Anyway, a lot of flanking and sight lines to be aware of. 
Across the map, there's a lot of mid-range shooting to be had through gates. Do be aware of those gates on the outskirts of the map because your bullets can hit the fence and be blocked completely and not go through it because that's how COD tends to work. There's a lot of different movements that you can do on this map as well. There's a lot of awnings or jumps that you can make to mantle different things, for example. There's a lot of unique movements on this map as well. I love this map and I love the fact that Blizzard decided to bring it back from the original MW. Now, there aren't a whole lot of tips that I have for you on this map because I haven't done quite enough discovering of this map yet. Like I said earlier, just moments ago, there's a lot of awnings and things that you can run on. So make sure you're utilizing those unique angles and the different things that you can mantle and the unique movement tactics on this map. Utilize and experiment whatever you can with. Correction to my earlier statement, so for hardpoint, because I, I totally forgot that hardpoint is a thing on this map, if you play hardpoint and you have a hardpoint in one of the back side squares of the map, you'll want to take advantage of those corners of those squares to kind of take cover and get nice good head glitches in there as well. Sorry for my terrible knowledge of thinking that there wasn't hardpoint on this map. For some reason, I totally thought there wasn't. Anyway, moving on to number three is Moaizaya Marsh. No idea how to say this, so I probably butchered it. It's a very swampy, large terrain. It's almost like a drowned city. Honestly, this map was really fun. The only real major tip I have for you here is to watch out for snipers as you would in any ground war or invasion map. However, I feel as though this map is really bad for it because there are a lot of good sniping yeah, spots guys, no and there is a lot of open area. In my personal opinion, I believe that the A side, when you're playing ground war for this map, if you spawn on the A side, that is a really good advantage starting off of spawn and you will not want to take E. E is not the good side to spawn on, in my personal opinion. I think that A has a lot more advantages to it. They kind of have the better side of the map. Now, obviously, if you're playing on a big team battle map, you're going to want to adjust your loadout and how you play, just like you normally would. So obviously keep that in mind. Easy and simple. Moving on to number four, Akdar Village. This one kind of reminds me of the other, I can't remember the name of it, but there's another Middle Eastern style map that they have that has been out since launch. These two are kind of similar. However, Showdown is the subset of Akdar Village. So Akdar Village has Showdown in it. It is a very like rich village style kind of almost stereotypical. I personally don't really know what the Middle East looks like. So I guess I can't really say stereotypical or not, but it has that very rich or first world maybe have its style village in the Middle East would feel or look like. It's kind of upscale. There's a lot of close quarters combat in buildings, but there's also a lot of long range combat down the streets and the different angles. There's a lot of sniping that happens up on. It's almost like this castle wall. There's a lot of sniping that happens there and down the street as well from that angle. Of course, again, keep in mind you're playing a big team battle, so make sure you preset your loadout for how you like to play that. Not a whole lot of tips for this map, because again, I don't play ground war a lot personally. I feel as though it's not very competitive. So tips overall, just be aware of snipers like you always should be and take advantage of those different angles and avoid straightaway streets. If you found this video useful so far, go ahead and drop a sub down below for me so I know I'm doing the right thing here. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Number five is Mercado. Mercado is a gunfight map. Now, this is a very compact, as every gunfight map is, it's a very compact market. So it's a market with two high rise areas, one on the left and one on the right. Now, depending, of course, on where you spawn, the concrete high rise area is very straight. There's two steps connected to it. It's a very straight away type thing. Now, the other side is almost like a balcony and it hooks in like a rectangle type shape. Now, there's also a hallway underneath the high rise side and that hallway comes in use very often when you play on Mercado because it's such a new map a lot of people actually aren't aware of that yet and it is very easy to hear people through that wall so if you hear somebody running down that long hallway on gunfight and you happen to be on your side steps you can very easily sit on your steps wait for them to bust through that door and just blow their face off nice, very nice. easily well done, now well as for tips or navigating this map just be aware that there are a lot of tight angles and there's a lot of unique different cockeyed areas that you can go and very slowly and silently walk through but also camp in and hear other people very easily because it is a very small map i don't have a whole lot of tips as for gunfight or using this map i would definitely just say 
say that you can jump on top of these little market roofs. So take advantage of that for sure. You can get some pretty good angles on top of these roofs and make sure you take advantage of the high angle on the balconies as well. But don't get flanked through that long hallway and make sure you pay attention or stay aware of that opposite side of that long hallway too. There's a little end divot there as well. Moving on to number six, the last map that was added in season four, I wanna talk about the penthouse. Now, this map, it was a lot of fun for me to play on. This is actually where I got my first collateral quick scope ever, which was really funny to me. Anyway, penthouse, so it's a very just luxurious penthouse. Uh, looks like upstate New York, or well, not upstate, it would be New York City. Anyway, just a very luxurious high-rise environment. And there's two straightaways. This is a very simple map. There, I believe there's an upstairs inside the penthouse itself. There's a very tight hallway on the one end. There's a pool on the opposite side of that. And there is a, I don't know, balcony side opposing the pool side. SMGs and shotguns are really gonna excel on this map. Rifles and snipers aren't going to as much. Obviously wow, still nice. very usable because it is gunfight. But up, uh, as for tips, I don't really have a whole lot of tips for this map. Just take advantage of the angles again, just like you would on any map. There are a lot of unique map features for this one specifically. I feel like that very tight corridor against the glass, I think it's by the kitchen. I feel like that's a very unique left side, left side. aspect of a map that I've never personally experienced. So just be aware that that is a very tight angle and you can very easily get through there and flank or make a major movement, you know, whatever may have it. That Only other tip I have now. for this map is to Flank. definitely be aware that the straightaways are very short and are very easy to you get taken see, advantage see on and to take advantage of. of. And then actually one more, the pool. The pool is actually very, very useful. If you're low on health and you're like the last alive of your team and it's like a 1v2 or a 1v1, but he's full health or whatever, take advantage of the pool, jump in that pool or don't jump, but fall into it or whatever. Try and be quiet about it. Go underwater, you know, hide for a little bit and uh, take advantage of that when they peek out. Out to view the pool okay. side of the map, shoot them, you know, try and take advantage of that pool if you can. But that is the six new maps that came to season four with Modern Warfare 2. Go ahead and drop a comment down below if you have any questions or other tips that you'd like to provide some other people. But other than that, stay tuned for more gaming content and we'll talk again real soon. Peace.